Hello everyone. Now I am going to explain you about the design procedure for a tension member. In that first one is find the required gross area to carry the factor load considering the strength in yielding. That means before going to design the tension member first we need to calculate the gross area of that member. By using this formula we are going to calculate the gross area A z equal to gamma m naught T u by F y. T u is nothing but a factored tensile force. So, why we are going to uh, calculate the gross area? So, while calculating I mean after calculating this gross area based on this gross area we need to choose the section which we are going to connect uh, whether uh, to column or a beam or anything or uh, any other steel member. So, for that purpose we need to calculate the gross area based on this gross area we are going to choose the section. After that after calculating this A z value we need to provide 25 to 40 percent more than the A z calculated. If suppose we got after calculating this A z value if suppose A z we got 900 we need to provide for this 900 we need to add 25 to 40 percent more than ok. So, like that we need to calculate. So, after um, after adding 25 to 40, uh, 40 percent for this A z value we need to select the section whether it is an angle section or any other type of section. So, after that we need to determine the number of bolts or the welding required and arrange. After that we need to calculate number of bolts and welding required we need to choose. Next point is find the strength considering. In the tension members in my previous video already I told you we need to consider these uh, three types of values are uh, occur or three, th three types of strengths are there. The first one is strength in yielding of gross area, strength in rupture of critical section and strength in block shear. This is uh, code specifies in section number 6 in that these three are available ok. Usually if edge distance and minimum pitch distance are maintained strength in yielding is least value. If suppose code is specifying some uh, minimum edge distance and minimum pitch distance if we maintain that the strength in least value sorry strength in yielding is we uh, will get the least value. In that case hence the design is safe if A g provided greater than A g required. That means if suppose we provided already I told you A g is 900 ok. If we provided uh, A g I mean if we required A g required A g required equal to 900 but A g provided if we provided A g provided is 1000 that means A g provided is greater than A g required hence the design is safe that is what the sentence meaning hence the design is safe if A g provided greater than A g required like that we need to provide. Next the strength obtained should be more than the factored tension. Factored tension means the applied load. So, I mean applied tension or applied load whatever it is. So, the strength obtained should be more than the factored tension. If it is too much on higher side or the strength is less than factored tension the section suitably changed and checked. If suppose uh, if the applying load uh, applying load is uh, 200 or 300 if it is too much on higher side or strengthen less than factor tension then we need to change the section and check it ok. This is the fifth point after that the last point is in IS 800 2007 also recommends the check for slenderness ratio of tension members as per the table 3. So, in IS 800 2007 we need to calculate the maximum values of effective slenderness ratio that is uh, specified in table 3 while designing the tension members we need to check all these 6 points. This is the design procedure for the tension member. The first one is we need to calculate the A z value. After that for the A z value we need to add 25 to 40 percent for A z calculated value. Next we need to uh, find out the number of bolts and our required welding which should be arranged. Next we need to calculate these 3 types of strengths yielding of brass section, yielding of critical section and strength in block shear. If suppose uh, a minimum edge distance and uh, minimum pitch distance are maintained we will get the least value then uh, if the design should be in safe if A g provided greater than A g required 
next the strength is obtained should be more than factor tension if our factor uh, load is 200 and we get the strength is more than that then we need to check the factor tension and uh, and we need to change the section after that the is 800 2000 also recommends that check for strengthness ratio of tension members as per the table 3 this is the design procedure to uh, find out the tension members sorry to design the tension members thank you so much for watching